when all this process was going on, the angel who was bound to convey the wahi to the zat e rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he now changed his strategy he squeezed rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's arm embraced him sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam tightly and commanded him sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam again to read well the answer was the same because in this small little time he could not become literate unless the way of allah or the will of allah comes into it this was not done only one time this was done three times the angel embraced the prophet peace be upon him and after leaving again he would say read but he would find the same answer sorry i cannot read angel jibril repeated this process not once time and again most of the historians agree that it was three times but the answer that prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam will give was the same sorry i can't read jibril alaihi salam again third time embraced him very tightly from chest to chest and again said read whatever is written but it was not to his utter surprise because he must have known as he had been sent by the almighty allah but the reply was uh, again the same he got the same answer and zat e rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam even the third time when a very strange and unexpected action was done by the prophet by 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 the angel gabriel al islam the answer was the still the same and he again said i cannot read obviously if you suddenly tell a person to read who has not gone through any such process or any such training in his previous life you would expect the same answer from him so even after insistence tremendous efforts embracement of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam three times time and again he would say read and he would find the answer i cannot because um illiterate and obviously if one is illiterate he has not already been trained to study or to read or to interpret he cannot do so